Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today's beer is not going to be a Japanese beer, but it is a, a craft beer. Uh, occasionally we take a, a trip outside the islands, and uh, today we're going to go to Ireland to take a look at a beer from, uh, uh, or a couple beers uh, from O'Hara. And O'Hara is a uh, with the name O'Hara, it sounds like kind of a generic uh, uh, beer name, like you might find, you know, a, a sort of chain of Irish pubs. But it actually is a craft beer company. Uh, it's uh, the the name of uh, beers brewed by Carlo Brewing Company, which is an independent family-owned brewery that started in uh, 1996 uh, in the Barrow Valley, which apparently is the heart of both barley and hop growing in Ireland, according to their website. So, uh, Carlo Brewing Company, and they've—I'm <clears throat> not sure why they why they call it uh, O'Hara rather than uh, Carlo, except that perhaps O'Hara sounds more Irish uh, uh, and could perhaps sell better. But uh, in any case, we're going to look at uh, two beers from them today, and uh, uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first beer we'll look at today is called O'Hara's Irish Pale Ale. And this is a pale ale. Uh, it's classified as an American pale ale. Uh, of course, here they call it an Irish pale ale. Uh, and this is a <clears throat> uh, dry hopped beer, um, but they don't necessarily say exactly what kind of hops uh, are in it. Um, it is a 5.2% beer, 50 IBUs. Um, so uh, it's classified as a pale ale American, but here it says dry hopped IPA. Let's find out, shall we? Um, <clears throat> the best by date is 6 uh, 28, 2002. So we've got uh, certainly uh, you know more time on this beer. Uh, right now we're in October. So. Um, and they have a very uh, sort of Celtic looking uh, art on the uh, uh, label here. Green on this side and then the uh, Celt designs come in on the other side. Um, and rate beer, this one has 799 ratings and the average score was 3.24 out of 5. 4.6 for all beers on rate beer and 44 percentile for its style, and it's, again, it's classified as a pale, American pale ale on rape beer. Uh, untapped, there were 53,707 ratings, so quite a few more, uh, which is typical. And the average rating is uh, 3.43, so a little, a couple ticks higher uh, than uh, rape beer. Okay, so we give this one a go. I've had a few other beers from O'Hara, and they're tolerable, for sure. Um, yeah. Okay, here's the cap on that. It says brewed in Ireland, O'Hara's craft beers. Okay. Okay, this is a slightly hazy amber orange more than slightly hazy, rather hazy. Uh, some carbonation rising up and a thin maybe quarter quarter inch of uh, thin filmy foam, kind of off-white foam. Okay. Okay, right away I get the uh, caramel-y kind of nose. Not some kind of spicy hopping Wish I knew what kind of hop they'd put in here. Not at all unpleasant. Mm. Okay. Uh, it is lightly caramel, uh, kind of overripe fruitiness, overripe stone fruit. Apples past their prime. Uh, quite bitter in mid palate. And uh, kind of grabs the tongue. Yeah, to me this does taste more pale ale-ish than IPA. Uh, 
But as they say here, it's a dry hopped IPA, according to them, 5.2%. Um, not the worst beer, but certainly not the most uh, interesting. Yeah, um, kind of nondescript overall, really. Uh, maybe it is kind of uh, straddling the boundary of pale ale, a heavy hop pale ale and an IPA, kind of in between. Yeah, the hopping at 50 IBUs is up, up there, certainly for a pale ale. Well, you might want to give this one a go. Uh, again, it's called O'Hara's Irish Pale Ale. Uh, I might, I could give this a light recommendation. Uh, and you can find these, I think, in uh, uh, some kinds of liquor stores around Japan, uh, and perhaps in other countries too. I'm sure they export to other countries besides Japan. Okay, well, uh, let's let that go, and we'll uh, take a look at another beer from O'Hara's. And uh, please do subscribe to the channel, and I'll put up a playlist of O'Hara beers that I have reviewed as well. Bye-bye.